I've always wanted to do kind of like foreign correspondence type of work and especially um, basically like the kind of stuff that um, I don't know if you're familiar with um, Professor Bill Gentile that he does here. I mean, he, he goes basically by himself, backpack style, you know, into places like Afghanistan and all over the world, really. I mean, he's been doing it since like the 70s, I think. And, um, you know, he covered conflict and he covered all this stuff. And that's kind of, that was, um, you know, that's something that I still, you know, would like to do eventually. And um, so I decided uh, during the spring semester just to try and plan a trip to, to Columbia. There was a, uh, uh, there's a huge displacement, internal displacement problem in Columbia. And, um, I mean, my girlfriend's from Columbia and we, I had a lot of contacts down there and I speak Spanish since I was in the Peace Corps. And I just decided that, you know, if I was going to, I wanted to do a substantial project for the documentary class and, uh, I got in touch with Professor Olmstead and, some other people and asked if, you know, that would be okay, and they said yes, which I was actually kind of surprised. <laughs> I just kind of assumed that they would tell me that I was crazy and I couldn't do it. <laughs> but they did. They let me go down there, and they let me take uh, American University equipment down there. And um, so I was able to, I went down there for seven days. I worked with the um, our professor for the documentary class who actually um, last uh, summer passed away, which is um, extremely unfortunate. He was a, an incredible um, professor and really worked uh, really hard with everybody in our, uh, in our class. And he, he kind of, he took me through the whole process. I hadn't done, this was, everything I had done up till that point was just kind of on the fly. And he, we really, um, you know, the, the proper way to do a documentary is, is you know you you obviously before you go out and shoot anything you have to do have all your research done you have to you know all the people you're gonna talk to know all the different questions you're gonna ask to each person kinda already have you basically have to almost you have to have an outline almost of your doc, of your documentary before you even shoot anything and of course it changes I mean if you're doing a, a news documentary when you get new reporting when you, if you do good reporting then your story will change but um, you have to actually, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. And so I did that and uh, went down and shot for seven days and then uh, did a, I believe, a, I think a 10 minute version for the documentary class this summer. And then I spent another uh, month and I did a 20 minute version, which I actually got into the, the AFI Film Festival with this documentary, and this documentary actually won um, the Audience Award for Best Short Documentary um, last year at the AFI Film Festival. And then uh, I got picked up by the Documentary Channel, and it's, it's actually still playing on the Documentary Channel now. 